live Super Doppler 7 weather. 443, good morning to you. Downtown Albuquerque under a lot of fog right now, a complete blanket actually. It set in overnight and we're continuing to see it this morning. It's making for reduced visibility and in some spots some tricky travel. It is a tough morning nationwide as far as flights go. A lot of delays and cancellations. So if you have a loved one maybe headed toward Albuquerque or maybe you're trying to get somewhere else, just a heads up, it could take you a while. Eric Green, I think, has been all over the country at this point trying to get back home. We do we do have active weather across the southeast, uh, a lot of rain showers, storms as well. That's an area where we're seeing a lot of flooding, so it's tough in that area. Pacific Northwest dry this morning, as is New Mexico. But again, the hazards that we're still dealing with is that freezing fog, the poor visibility, and still those icy conditions and snow-packed roads. The bitterly cold temperatures continue today on through the week, and we will warm up into next week. Now, there's two different storm systems that we're watching here, and we're going to be talking about that throughout the morning. The first one comes Thursday into Friday. So New Year's Eve, a lot of places expecting snow showers for Albuquerque. It looks too windy at this point. Those canyon winds ramping up Thursday night into Friday, but just no places around the south even like Roswell expecting more snow Thursday into Friday. Then our next storm system comes Monday into Tuesday. At that point, Albuquerque expecting more snow turning to rain showers on Tuesday. Check it out though, 30s to 40s. It'll feel a little bit different, Todd.